Hello and welcome to EasyDevTutes Web Development Tutorials and in this video I'm going to pick up where I, pick up where I left off last time and which was uh, making this footer menu dynamic. Um, at the end of the video if you watch the whole thing I was a little confused as to what I wanted to do next uh, for this front page. You can see we have a lot of things here that um, need to be managed or need some sort of CMS tool. Uh, but before I get into that um, I think what I need to do is I need to create a front page uh, template. Now we already have that done pretty much. Uh, we got our index.php and I see I got a lot of code here just commented out. I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. And um, let's go to the top and here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and open up a PHP block, uh, PHP tag. I'm going to put template name not like that. You need a comment block also. I'll put template name and then I'll just put home and then I'm going to save it and back over here I'm going to go to my dashboard I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call it home and over here template I'm going to choose the newly created home template that I put and then I'll publish and next step is to go over to our settings and reading. And right here you see uh, some reading settings and the first one says front page displays. Before we had our index.php set to, uh, or we had our latest post option selected as you can see here and that was to our index.php. Instead what we wanna do now is choose a static page and we'll, for the front page we'll choose home. Um, now, there is sort of a problem here. Our post page is actually our index.php, and our front page is uh, something else. Um, for right now, let's go ahead and we'll just move this to blog because that's where all our blog posts are going to go. And uh, we'll come back to that later. But uh, just for right now, make sure you have static page and home and blog selected. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's visit the site and see what's happened here. As you can see now, uh, our loop has changed a little bit. And that's because uh, we made our front page an actual WordPress page, but with no content. And we want to keep it this way. We don't want uh, any content here. Uh, not, late, not yet, at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my index.php. And I'm going to hit file and save as and I'm going to change it to front-page.php and again uh, this is necessary it's not something I just made up uh, WordPress has something called template hierarchy and frontpage.php will I think I'm, I might not be sure but override index.php so when I save this this becomes the template and index.php if we open it up again we can put a blog here and then save it and we'll close this for now we'll come back to that page sometime in a few more videos but for now let's focus on the home page um, down here at the bottom I want to get rid of the loop and I'm just going to go ahead and take all that stuff out uh, Actually, no, I'm not. Sorry. I think that's going to be it for this video now. And in the next one, uh, we're going to leave this loop here. And I'll show you how to modify the loop so that you're pulling the latest post from the blog post. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And this is actually a pretty important video because in my next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to do custom fields so that you can edit the stuff right here on the front page. Uh, without having to mess with the code that's including this and this uh, little tab thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.